Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get After Effects like quality on a light motion. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first most important thing is having a good quality scene pack. Like especially if you're using like a 360p or even a freaking 480p, those will not be good quality no matter how much sharpen you add to them. So I just wanted to disclose that. Try to get 720p or 1080p quality or even higher than that if you can because that is your best bet for quality wise. First things first, an a light motion, all these effects are free, so you don't need a premium membership to do this or anything. But the one thing you do need is when you're making your project like this, go ahead and select resolution and go to 2160, that is 4K quality, and make sure your frame rates are at 60 frames per second. Now, you're gonna wanna go to the blur category and add on sharpen. And once that is added on, you can increase it as much as you want, but I increased it to about 2.25, and I kept the radius at 1.0. Um, if you can tell, without the sharpen, her eyes don't glow nearly as much, and it kind of fades the um, clip a little bit. Like, it blurs it a little bit. Okay, so that's why sharpen's good. Now, I added on highlights and shadows, and I increased the highlights all the way to 200%, and I left the shadows just at 100 it really increases like the light in the clip and it makes it more vibrant and it kind of makes her face more vibrant as well because of the shadows that are on her face it's kind of dark so it really highlights those and then i added on some exposure now this is optional you could also add on brightness and contrast if you wanted but um without the exposure as you can see it gets really dark the clip is super dark and i don't like that so i changed the exposure to about 0.19 and then I also added on brightness and contrast, and I made the contrast 3%. Uh, without the contrast, it, I think it just looks kind of dull without it. It's more of a coloring thing. You don't need to add it, but I just like the way that it makes it look. I always add on contrast on After Effects when I'm doing any of my edits. And yeah, so I'm going to give you a little before and after. Here it is. And yeah, that was it for today's video. I know it was super quick and super short, but it is the most simple thing in the world. You just need to make sure that your resolution is on 4K if that's an option for your device. And if it's not, just do 1080p. Make sure your frame rate is at 60 frames per second. And just export in those settings. 